to welcome to Backstage Pass, stage two. Um, very important stage today. First uh, first time the riders tackle the corkscrew. Um, I think it's it's going to be one of the most important, if not the most important stage. And a uh, little, little tip, I think uh, whoever wins today is going to win the tour. So I uh, really hope we can get Gary up there. He, he got a few seconds yesterday, so he's in a good position now. Um, boys are going to be behind him and we'll see what happens. Yeah, it'll be good. I think uh, we've got a we've checked it out a couple of times. Um, Gary and I did a went and did an extra day on it just to to be really get really familiar with the climb and learn the important parts of it. There's a a really steep part of about 600 meters, but it's in the middle of the climb, and then there's still about an 800 meter drag after that. So. It's going to be pretty important to, to be at the front, but then still have legs to to drive it over the top of that steep part. So uh, our plan is to attempt to leave that to the other guys to really push the pace on the steep part, and then and then we're going to try and make the difference after that when everyone's a bit tired and uh, and worse for wear. So we'll see how we go, and uh, hopefully it works out alright for Gero. The question is, have you got the fear that Dan's going to get you to do it, maybe, I don't know, Gangam style this year or...? Geez, that, there you go, there's an option, <laughs> something we can think about. If only any of us could dance, we might be able to do that. I don't know, a few guys... Actually, I don't a... think you're supposed to be able to dance to do that, are you? <laughs> Not in cleats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, big punk. Look at that super look of beauty. That's 5k to the left hand turn, guys. 5k to the left hand turn. Everyone should be at the front. Go, go. Great day for Green Edge. We fortunately Gero had a bit of an asthma problem coming into the bottom of the climb there, and so I hung back for a bit, and, and then he just told me to go. So I did what I could, but yeah, by that stage the race was long gone, and uh, fortunately there was a fair few guys on the deck on that descent, so hopefully no one hurt themselves too badly. But uh, yeah, it's just been some pretty crazy racing these last couple of days. Good to go. Simon Gerens, can you describe uh, your day in a nutshell? Uh, a bit disappointing actually. Um, the guys sort of did everything for me today. They controlled the breakaway, they put me in a good position at the start of the final climb. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the legs today. Um, uh, it accelerated pretty much right at the bottom of the climb, and I knew straight away that I was, didn't have the legs to go with them. So I just sort of yeah, got up there at my own pace and lost a couple of minutes in the end. Well, all eyes were on you and Philip Jolbert, a couple of others. Were you surprised when Garen Thomas went when he did? Uh, not at all. Gary Thomas is a classy bike rider. Um, he looks really fit. He's been in Australia for probably a month already. And um, yeah, I, well, just by looking at it, you can see he's in really good shape. So it's not a surprise at all to me. Can you come back from this with Wollonga still to go? Oh, I think uh, realistically now, if we can get a stage win, it'd be pretty good. Um, 
To lose two and a half minutes today, uh, that pretty much puts you out of contention for the overall. Bad luck, Simon. So yeah, that's a, that's a wrap on stage two. Uh, a little bit disappointing for us, uh, obviously with uh, Gero not having the legs, but you know, the guys backed him 100% and they, they, they did everything they could. And sometimes it just, it just happens like that. But looking at the positives now, we've got, uh, we've got four stages to go and some, some pretty good opportunities to attack and to have a, have a go for a stage win. Um, so yeah, we'll be going after that now and, and looking forward to the, to the next few days.